Happy Tuesday, loves! If this is your first time checking out my Facebook Live video, thank you for checking it out. My name is Danny LaBerry. I'm a virtual licensed psychotherapist and a happiness transformation coach. So I typically work with people who are feeling unhappy, unfulfilled, overwhelmed, stressed out, anxious, maybe a little depressed. So each month, I do about three Facebook Lives a month and each different live is on a certain topic. So for the month of December, I wanted to focus on sobriety as well as mental health. So tonight's Facebook Live is on holidays and depression, 2020. So the reason I added 2020 is because I know this year looks a little different than say past years, especially with COVID. So sadness and depression is a very personal feeling. So what may make one person depressed or have them experience depression or sadness may not make other people experience sadness or depression. So that can look different for different people. Some sources of holiday sadness can look like or experiences. Some signs can include stress, fatigue, unrealistic expectations, financial stress, and the inability to be with your family or your friends, especially with everything going on. Um, people who do not identify themselves as being depressed may experience things like headaches, excessive drinking, overeating, trouble sleeping. And something that I wanted to bring up, as a matter of fact, today, one of my clients and I we were talking about this, she brought up what is the difference between feeling like you're in a funk and actually being depressed. So what the difference looks like. Being depressed, or experiencing depression, I should say, looks more like we're not taking care of ourselves. We're going days without showering. We're going days without brushing our teeth, without actually having personal hygiene. Being in a funk can be something that's very in the moment. I'm experiencing that. I'm having a bad day, for example. I'm feeling in a funk. But depression can look like just going on for days, maybe even weeks of not showering and just not taking care of ourselves and our personal hygiene. So I wanted to make sure that I touched on that. Something else to keep in mind as far as depression is that it's winter and we're going into the winter season. So what does that mean? That means the days end earlier. Sometimes people experience things like seasonal depression which means when the days end earlier, we're going to sleep a little earlier, maybe we're overeating and we're eating a little bit more. So when you're going into that season, it's okay. Being easy with yourself that you're experiencing that, that it's fine, this is normal. So there is such a thing as seasonal depression and that looks like having the desire to, to just be sluggish. You, wanna, you, you, you notice that you wanna sleep, sleep. Low energy. Um, stick to basics. A, even if it's doing one or two things consistently, as opposed to trying to do five, six things and then not doing them at all, you know, setting yourself up for failure there. So another thing to keep in mind, and that's why I added as far as holidays and depression 2020, is the COVID. This year it makes things very difficult for people to visit their loved ones. So if you have parents or you have grandparents who, for example, either live by themselves or they live in an assisted living facility, I would strongly recommend and encourage you to do, you know, call them on the phone or do some sort of FaceTime or set up some way of contacting them. Even though you may not be able to see them in person face to face, even just having that FaceTime call or some sort of phone call can help. I'm saying this because even myself, personally, I'm guilty of not keeping in touch with my grandparents as often as I should. And you know, my mom reminded me, hey, you know, your grandma, my grandmother lives in an assisted living facility, and I said, you know, I should call her. So I've just made this new habit of making sure I call my grandma every Sunday. So yesterday I wasn't able to get a hold of her, right, because everybody tends to call her on Sundays. So I made sure to call her today, and she was so happy when I um, called her. So. Even if you get wrapped up in this idea of, well, I shouldn't bother calling them, I don't even know what I'm going to say, what are we going to even talk about, which are some of the things that, thoughts that pop into our mind, and then we don't end up doing these things. And then when we call, they're so happy to hear from us. So you want to make sure that you're staying in contact with family members. I know that 
not being able to see people in person has made it a little more difficult, has created a little more isolation and feelings of sadness. But if you can, make that phone call or do FaceTime or set up a Zoom. Um, let me see here. Something else that I wanted to mention is being mindful of your thoughts. Because our thoughts have a lot to do with what, what we're feeling and why we're feeling that way. I notice that sometimes the depression and sadness can come from me focusing a lot on myself. All the things that I don't have, I'm not where I'd like to be, me, 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 victim, victim. You know, so paying attention to your thoughts and noticing are your thoughts very much focused in me, 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 what about me, and this is where I'm at. I noticed that volunteering in my past, when I had that time on my schedule and I made that time, volunteering was something that always felt rewarding and fulfilling because you're giving your time to others, you're helping other people. I remember one time, a few years ago, I was doing a group session and there was someone there who was experiencing severe depression as well as urges to go out and do laps, to use substances, to abuse substances. And we were saying, when in doubt, focus out. So when, you're, when you notice yourself feeling overwhelmed by emotions, sometimes it's because we're focused on ourselves instead of thinking about others. So in this time, in this season, if you're noticing you're experiencing some depression there, some feelings of sadness, check in with yourself. What are your thoughts saying? What are you telling yourself? Notice if you're very focused on yourself. So, hey Ashley, thanks for joining me. Hi Jeff, nice to see you on here. And Guillermo, thanks for checking out my Facebook Live. And the last thing that I want to end with is if for some reason, you have lost a loved one um, due to COVID or any other reasons and you are not looking forward to the holiday season. The holiday season is not a joyful time for everyone. So sometimes we get, we, a lot of people get caught up in, oh yeah, the holidays, it's great, but we forget sometimes about the people who are really experiencing grief and loss, who've lost a loved one. If you are that person that's experienced grief or loss, who's lost a loved one during this time, whether that's due to COVID or other reasons, really have grace with yourself. There is no right or wrong way to do things, to process things, to heal. Grief looks different for everyone. One minute you might feel angry, the next minute you're you're feeling like, what if, why didn't I do this? I should have done this. I should have been there. I could have done this. And I should have done this differently. And, and then the next minute you're feeling really sad. The next minute you're feeling like a, in shock. Like, how could this happen? Am I really going every day without this person? So being as, sim as easy as you can with yourself. Just allowing yourself to experience the emotions that you experience. Reach out to people when those emotions get completely unbearable. Having a support system. If you feel like sitting on the couch and vegging, sit on the couch and veg. And that's what I was saying earlier. If you feel like sleeping, sleep. Be easy with yourself. Right now, winter, on top, not just winter, but even the year that we've had has been a lot. There's been a lot going on. A lot of people, I can't tell you, I feel like almost all of my clients right now in my practice have, have felt like this, this year has really sucked. You know, it's been a challenging year for many people. So... Have as much grace as you can with yourself. And, of course, I want to add, as we're talking about depression, if you or a loved one is experiencing any thoughts of harming yourself or harming others, make sure you contact the Suicide Prevention Line and reach out for help. If this video has helped you or you feel like it may help someone else, please feel free to share it. And if something has come up for you, if you have any questions or you just want to kind of get some feedback on some things that you've been experiencing, you can feel free to email me. My email is Danny, that's D-A-N-I, at DannyLeBerry.com. Thank you so much for watching my Facebook Live video. Again, my name is Danny, and I'm a virtual licensed psychotherapist and happiness transformation coach. Make sure you take care of yourselves this holiday season, and I hope to see you on my next Facebook Live. Have a great night.